With players having a chance to take a stab at the 30 minute demo made available by Capcom for the remake of Resident Evil 2 and the official release happening on January 25th, many loyal fans of the series have been quick to spot some easter eggs that link back to previous games, hint to future enemies and even easter eggs that make sense of certain phrases used in one particular announcement video. Hint, hint. So today on Top 10 Gaming we are going to be counting down the top 10 scariest easter eggs you missed in Resident Evil 2. Let's jump in. In at 10, Brad Vickers. Now, during many players' playthrough of Resident Evil 2 demo, some were able to hack it and explore some restricted areas that devs didn't want you to find. Just yet, anyway. In a video uploaded to YouTube by Nico Run, Leon explores several areas that had been blocked off in the demo. Now, no one quite knows how the user managed this, but it is likely that he used a cheat code or some kind of mod that allowed him to explore outside of the station. Now, in the original Resident Evil 2, Brad Vickers' zombified corpse can be seen under the front courtyard of the RPD, which is restricted in the demo of the remake. So, of course, many players were curious whether Brad would be there. Sadly, he wasn't. However, he did make an appearance somewhere else, which leads us into our next number. In at 9, Stars. In the original Resident Evil 2 and even Resident Evil 3, in the police department you can find a picture of the Stars team hanging on the wall in one of the offices. Now, in the demo, in the dark room, which is also the save room, you can find this very same picture laying in the development fluid. Take a look. In at 8, Leon's jacket. Now, this one is a blink and you'll miss it easter egg. In the original version of the demo, there was a one frame glitch where you can see Leon's civilian clothing as opposed to his police uniform. It's also the jacket that Leon donned briefly in the trailer to the game. Now, was this an intentional glitch put in there by devs to trick us, or was it truly a glitch, considering it was removed in the updated demo? A similar jacket is also seen hanging on a coat rack in the demo inside of the police department. Perhaps it's the same one? Who knows? Play the full game and you'll find out. In at 7, Outbreak. Now in one room you'll find a sign that reads, Welcome Leon. In that room you'll discover a pretty cool easter egg connected to a popular but neglected game series, Resident Evil Outbreak. One name tag on a desk reads, Rita Phillip, a character from the Forgotten series who made a harrowing escape from the station. In at number 6, Nemesis. There are a few locations in the demo where players can find gaping holes in the walls, as though something huge has smashed through at a great force. To many fans they look almost like Nemesis sized holes. Could Nemesis be making a return in RE2? Some players might remember him appearing in the prequel section of Resident Evil 3. Take a look. In at 5, In Loving Memory. In the entrance hall of the police station you'll find a memorial statue adorned with lists of names, likely officers that were killed in action. Now, in reality, these names are actually Capcom's localization team. Pretty cool. Also linking back to our number 7 point, Rita escapes in Resident Evil Outbreak through a passage in the main hall that is located inside of a statue. Now this same passage makes an appearance in RE2, the exact same memorial statue we mentioned before. You can find a secret passage that leads into the unknown. In at 4, Jojo. This is a two part easter egg that appears in both the original Resident Evil 2 and the remake. On a locker in the original game you'll find one with the name Jojo, not far from where Marvin was dying. It referred to another game from Capcom called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, and the devs kept that little nugget in the remake. In one of the locker rooms, you'll find that very same locker. The only thing missing? Marvin's dying body. In at 3, Resident Evil 7. There are a handful of throwbacks to Resident Evil 7, one being the haunting mannequins we saw in one of the VHS tapes in the attics of one of the homes. Now, in RE2, you can find a mini mannequin on one of the desks in the police department. Not only that, but we also get a flashback to the same scene that contained the mannequins in RE7, where we can find Andre eating a pipe. In RE2, on the first floor of the station, you'll find an officer hanging, with a piece of pipe lodged in his mouth. In at 2, Marvin Branner. Marvin Branner was a character that appeared in the original RE2. He was a wounded officer that Leon finds slumped against a locker at the station, before he utters the heartbreaking line to Leon, sorry, but it looks like your party is cancelled. In the RE2 remake, Marvin is back, but this time he is a total badass, who saves Leon from losing a leg. 
Not only that, but if you look around the station, you'll find posters on the wall showing that Marvin was named Officer of the Month. Good on you, Marvin. And finally, in a number one, RCPD motto. Now, this is a throwback to the announcement video Capcom made for RE2, where one of the producers was wearing a shirt that had the phrase, We Do It. Turns out this phrase is actually the RCPD motto, which can be seen on a bronze statue inside of the police department. Well, there we have it. Did you catch any of these Easter eggs? Did you have a chance to play the demo, or are you waiting for the release of the full game? I know I am. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another gaming vid. And until next time, see you later.